couple of this video is to go with the Zenko blog post explaining how to create your own Backbeat extension, or maybe just give you a sense of how extensions are organized within Backbeat so that you can also contribute to the project. So in the blog post, I um, share with you some code, and this code is how to add a new extension. And the extension that I called it was Hello World. And basically what this extension does, it detects any object's keys where the name is Hello World, uh, case insensitive, and it applies object tagging automatically on these objects where the tag key is hello and the tag value is world. So I wanted to give um, a short video demo of the, how this extension works, uh, sort of just to give you a better understanding of what the extension does within the Zenko environment. So on my screen, I'm on Zenko Orbit. I've already pre-created two buckets and both of these buckets are on the Zenko local file system. However, they're on different stores locations. For instance, a bucket is on location constraint US East 1, which is the default within Zenko, and the Zenko local bucket here is on location constraint Zenko-local. These location constraints are uh, created within the configure storage locations tab right here. And as you can see, I have a US East 1 and a Zenko local. So for this demo, I first wanted to show you um, prior to using the extension and then post extension usage. So here, I'm going to go into one of my buckets and I want to upload an object. I want to upload a hello world file so that the object key for this should match our extension. And I want to give it a few seconds for the extension to do its magic. But in our case right now, it should not do anything because the extension hello world is not active. So if I view info, there's zero tags on it. So I'm going to delete this for now. And I'll go back to the browser tab and I'm going to switch over to my terminal. And this is my current deployment right now um, with Zenko 1.0. I'm going to upgrade my deployment. I have uh, right here the Hello World um, deployment pod itself is disabled by default. That's how I've set it in the code. Um, I'm using a custom Docker image this is basically um, an updated version of the Backbeat repo with my new extension Hello World changes. So now I'm going to per, uh, proceed on upgrading my deployment. And if I scroll up a little bit, should be creating a brand new pod where it's Zenko Backbeat Hello World Consumer. I'm going to wait for this to, yeah, there we go. So it's running. So now going back to orbit, what I could now do is going into one of these buckets, I'll upload an object. I want to upload hello world. Uh, give it a few seconds for the extension to pick it up. Uh, basically in the extension, we're receiving these metadata updates and I'm in the extension itself. We're filtering out these metadata logs based on what we want. In our case, it's hello world, case insensitive, object key names, and then we're gonna process them and add a tagging on it. So this has one tag on it, should have hello as the key and world as the value, which it does. So. Uh, let's try uploading an object that doesn't match our hello world object key name. So I'm going to upload something called test file. Oops. And I want to give it a few seconds 
it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't apply any tagging on this, but just to show you um, that I gave it significant time to give it time to update and filter. I'm going to now view info and it has zero tags. So it filtered correctly. Let me try refreshing one more time. I'm viewing info again. Yeah, so zero tags still. This our original hello world file should also have still have the one tag. So I'm going to go back to the browser and go into the other bucket and I'm going to upload the hello world. So what I wanted to show in this demo as well is that it doesn't matter which location constraint you're on. The way I set up the extension, it should just apply um, these changes, the metadata uh, object tagging changes on any object on Zenko, regardless of storage location. So I'm going to view info here. And it has one tag. If I look at the tag, the key is hello and the value is world. So this was a very brief demo of the implementation of the Hello World extension uh, provided in the Zenko blog post. Thanks for watching.